presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use the new Multitracks.com integration in Pro Presenter 7.8. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've been dying to have an easy way to bring in chord charts into your uh, stage screen, go ahead, uh, click the like button, and go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon while you, you're at it. This is one of the things that people have been clamoring for. Now, with that said, there it's not perfect. There are ups and downs to it, and I'm going to go through those because I don't have a relationship with uh, any of these companies, and so I don't feel any obligation whatsoever to tell you uh, sugar-coated uh, truth about this. I, I'll just tell you the way that I see it, and you can decide for yourself. So let's head over to my computer, and we'll take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter 7.8, and first thing I want to tell you about is this. So um, this, and I'll go ahead and leave a link with this video. This is the link that you should go to to buy the appropriate integration for multitracks. I tell you this because there are three things that you need to make this work. And it took me three tries to get all three. So uh, the last time I just went to this link and finished out what I needed. Thought I'd gotten it all the first time. Thought I'd gotten it all the second time. But no, in fact, I needed all three things uh, from this link. So let me uh, go ahead and do that. Now, before we go off of this uh, screen, let me show you what the costs are, because that is uh, a downside from the perspective of some churches. Some won't see it as an issue whatsoever, but I thought that I'd let you know. So, what you need is you need Chart Pro, the Pro Presenter icon, and Cloud Pro, but you need the Plus tier or better. So you need all three of those things. Um, let me show you um, about what that's going to cost if you do a month to month. You can do it all over a year and it's a little less expensive. So it's about $55, $60. It depends on if you uh, get the, uh, the promo or not. So just keep that in mind that if you go to this link that I'm showing you, this is something that they've worked out with uh, Renewed Vision because that's where I got this link from uh, Cody. He posted it on my ProPresenter users group, uh, this guy right here, and he works for Renewed Vision. So it could be in the future this is no longer active, but... Um, this is the easiest way to do it. So you're talking about 55 to $60 a month. For some churches, that's a non-starter. For others, it's a great bargain. Let me help you understand how to think about this. Let's say that over a month, you have a paid person that spends four hours, just four hours, to make these kind of resources, okay? Now let's also imagine that that person is paid $15 an hour. In some places in the U.S., that is minimum wage. In other places, it's more than you pay your person. I don't know your situation. I'm just letting you think about this for just a second. If that's the case, that's $60. 4 times 15 is 60. So if you have someone that's spending more than 4 hours a month, or you're paying them more than $15 an hour, it might seem like 60 bucks for something is um, money to spend that you could spend elsewhere, but it could be that this is actually a huge bargain. So I just wanted to be clear about that. 
So let's head back over to my computer here and I'll show you how to integrate all this and we'll go from there. So we're going to start in ProPresenter Preferences. So ProPresenter, then Preferences. Then we want to go to Services because this is a new third-party service. And you'll notice down here we have an integration. So where it says Multitracks, you'll, uh, there will be a login button that looks just like this. Uh, it will pop up. You put in your login information after you've subscribed. And then uh, you should be able to get this stuff up and running. So once you have that, then you should be able to just do a search for it. So click over here in search, or if you're on a Mac, go and hit Command S. If you're on Windows, Control S. Either way, it should bring that up. And once you do, you'll notice that you have three icons where there used to be two in 771 and previous. So the first one, that's the Renewed Vision ProPresenter logo. So that's searching within ProPresenter. This second one is Song Select from CCLI, which allows you to find lyrics, but not chord charts, etc. This is the one that we want, the multitracks. And you'll notice that when you click on that, it uh, says what it is. I'm not logged into Song Select, so it's not showing me. Command S to bring that back up. And here's the ProPresenter. So that's your library, what things have already been uh, imported into ProPresenter. So let's go back to Multitracks. And this is some of the really cool things that they've added in. So let me think, uh, maybe, I don't think I've imported Egypt yet. So let's say Egypt, okay. And I click on that, and it gives me a uh, preview of the lyrics here. Um, so the AZ, that is lyrics. This second one, this is chords. So if this was grayed out, then the chords wouldn't be available. And if you don't have all of the correct subscriptions, then these three will be grayed out, even if this one works. Um, So, chords are available. We'll mouse over this one. So, automation is available. So, basically, um, I've got the ability to bring in the chords automatically. But, it's not limited to just one key, which is really cool. And it's uh, put directly letter accurate where it goes in the lyrics. So if we go to import, this is the new import dialog. So the question is, do I want chords and automation? Automation being MIDI notes? Let's say yes. Uh, what key do I want it to be in? By default, this particular song is set to A flat. Let's instead make it D. Why D? Well, I, I think I sing better in D. Not that I'm a great singer, but anyway. Uh, now, this is different. Lines per slide for song select and for bringing in lyrics other ways, it's a totally different dialogue where you can choose the delimiter, you know, whether it's line break, paragraph, whatever. This is really simplified so I can make it one line, two lines, or four lines. I kind of wish that there was a three line option, um, but with that said, two works. And then I can choose my theme just like normal. I can choose the size of the largest screen just like normal. I uh, give it the name, put it in the library, put it in the appropriate playlist. That's all good. And now I click import. Now, there is something, so let me click on that, and that just shows normal. 
there's something else that they've added in ProPresenter 7.8. And if we go into Screens and Edit Layouts under Stage, there is a new stage screen layout, and that's this one. So I just clicked on the uh, little plus button up here, and I brought that in. Now, I had to tweak mine just a little bit because this down here was cutting off. So I uh, clicked on it and I went to text and then I changed the scaling to text down. You might not need to do that. It might be a glitch in an earlier beta version. I've tested three beta versions of this so far. So it could be that that is solved when you get it, but I just wanted to tell you about it. So we've got the current slide, we've got the next slide, and you'll notice how they've got the uh, the chords here in an alternate color, and um, notice that this is linked as a chord from multi-track, and you could change the color if you wanted to. So, you know, if you wanted that to be, I don't know, more of an orange. So the current slide is more of an orange, and then the next slide is yellow. You could absolutely do that. So that is set up like that. And let's head back here. And I've already um, gone ahead and changed that on one of my stage displays. So you'll notice it looks like this. And there we go. The chords are all over there. What happens, though, if your minister of music, worship leader, whoever's in charge says, sorry, I told you D, I meant D sharp. Can you fix that real quick? Well, if you'd manually typed in those lyrics, the answer would be no, uh, I can't fix that real quick. But look up here. See this? I can now go change that to D sharp. Now it doesn't take effect until I click on the same slide or another slide again. But what hap watch what happens when I click on I won't forget. Bam. Change just like that. So that could also help you if sometimes they change the um, the key that it's in, you can just change it really quick, really easy, and uh, just make it work like that. So this is really exciting. Uh, there's also, as I mentioned earlier, MIDI notes that you can send out a ProPresenter to control stuff. There are uh, background tracks that uh, Multitracks uh, provides under certain circumstances as well. So it's really, really powerful. So if it's right for you, then ProPresenter 7.8 is just going to make your day. Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to tell you about, though, and that is that these this isn't a buy it forever kind of thing. And this might be another thing that you you want to consider is if your subscription lapses, then these are no longer available. So it checks to make sure your subscription is still good from time to time. So do keep that in mind. I'm probably going to uh, cancel my subscription because this is an instance that's not used by any musicians or anything. This is just for you, the people that are seeing these tutorials. So I don't need them beyond this particular circumstance, but I just wanted to tell you all about it, give you the pros and cons so that you can make an, uh, a well-researched, intelligent decision on if this is right for you. Could be that there are other ways to do this. Um, could be that you prefer to do it manually, maybe you don't even need it, whatever, just so you know all about the multi-tracks integration in ProPresenter 7.8. If you like this content, you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. 
give me your name and email address and I'll make a login for you so that you can uh, take that course at your leisure. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.